This week on Canada in the Rough, we're in the Canadian Arctic hunting snow geese. Every year, millions of snow geese fill the skies and farmers' fields across North America. And we've enjoyed some amazing snow goose hunts in the past. But this week's hunting adventure is taking waterfowl hunting to the ultimate level. Canada in the Rough's Keith Beasley will be traveling to the Nunavut Territory of Canada to hunt snow geese during their spring migration back to their traditional nesting grounds on Southampton Island. Joining Keith will be esteemed biologist and executive director of Long Point Waterfowl, Dr. Scott Petrie. As you'll see, Keith and Scott will be experiencing some of the most adventurous waterfowl hunting one can take part in, led by Dino Bruce of Tassioke Outfitters, not to mention experiencing some of the most breathtaking scenery and amazing wildlife encounters. All that and much more on this week's episode of Canada in the Rough. Well, we're starting our most adventurous waterfowl hunt possibly in the world. We're on top of the world almost. We flew into Baffin Island in the Arctic of Canada in the Nineveh territory and landed in the capital city of Iqaluit. Now we're flying out of Iqaluit with First Air over to the island the size of Newfoundland actually called Southampton and we're going to be hunting out of Coral Harbour where the world famous bird sanctuary is set aside there. We won't be hunting in it, but we're hunting miles off of it where millions of birds pour back in for their summer nesting grounds here in the Arctic tundra. So we're going to be hunting with the Inuit, and that's what Canada is all about, enjoying cultures and communities in the journey and the rough part of Canada. And we're going to get on this plane, go start hunting, hopefully see some wildlife while we're there, other than snow geese, maybe even some polar bears, but it should be a great trip. The Nunavut Territory of Canada is home to some 30,000 plus people, many of whom are Inuit. As we've learned firsthand from local prominent Inuit people and the Nunavut tourism, the Inuit are a proud people and for many generations have learned to live off this seemingly uninhabitable land through hunting and gathering traditions, many of which are still practiced today. Along with hunting and gathering, the art of making clothes from caribou and seal hides to withstand temperatures that drop below minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to traditional Inuit soapstone carvings and the remarkable bone and antler carvings containing the most amazing detail and even everyday necessities like making fire with seal fat soaked moss are all traditions that are unique and important to the Inuit heritage and are still taught to the next generation of Inuit today. Soon after touching down, Keith Beasley and Dr. Scott Petrie were welcomed by the owner and operator of Tassio Outfitters, Dino Bruce, and some of his family and friends. After a warm welcome, the trucks were packed up and they were on their way to Coral Harbor. Coral Harbor is a small Inuit community, home to some 800 people. The only way to reach this community is by plane or boat. And once on the island, dog sleighs and snowmobiles are the main transportation of choice and what will take the crew on their next three hour journey to hunt camp. Some people get limous limousines, we get sleighs with bear rugs. <laughs> I love it. You ready for this adventure? Yeah, it's gonna be what wonderful. All right, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Well, after two days of traveling from the south, we're finally here by plane, by sled, and by Skidoo, we've arrived at the spot. This will be home sweet home for a few days. The geese are all around us. I can hear them in the background. We'll get some supper into us, get some rest, and tomorrow morning, we're gonna be goose hunting.
Well, Scott, it's first morning we're hunt, and we've woken to a beautiful day. We're finally here. It's gonna happen. It's early in the morning, yet the sun's already high in the sky. Yeah. That's a 24 hour daylight. But <laughs> well, coming to Nunavut, I didn't expect this kind of accommodation. We're out in the middle of the tundra, and you, you got a tent up here. We're on, we're on mattresses. And like polar bear skins. And polar bear hide. <laughs> like, I slept last night on a polar bear hide. It's amazing. It's amazing. But we'll get the gear on here, get the ammo in the bag, load it up, and uh, I guess we're hunting real close to camp today. Yeah, we like can within, walk. Yeah, within 500 yards. So, yeah. and clearly there's lots of birds around because all night you can hear them coming over, honking and cracking. So, should be a good day. Hunting geese in June. Right on. <laughs> That's amazing, Dino. Here they come. They're coming in the left. All right, here they come. Hold tight. Go! Nice shooting, boys! <laughs> oh, get oh, some bullets in. Yeah, nice shot. Wow. <laughs> All but one. Okay. Nice shoot. Nice shot. Go. Oh, nice. Wow. Good stuff. How that exciting is that, eh? <laughs> Two coming low. Right, they're cupping right down here. Hold tight. Go! Whoa! Oh, nice you green shot. guy. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Nice well, shot. I was saving the front one yeah, for yeah, you, sure but you they got... I saw that. <laughs> I'll take the two for one every now and then when it happens. Yeah, nice shot. Thank that you. Was, Good calling. Was... Good calling, Daddy. <laughs> wow. The annual spring snow goose hunt has been part of the Inuit culture for many years, and the devastating effects of this very overpopulated bird can be seen across the Arctic tundra. As the aggressive snow geese feed on the fragile land, they tear up plants and roots that take decades to grow back. In short, the snow goose numbers are so high, they are actually eating themselves out of house and home and destroying the Arctic tundra in the process. Luckily, the meat of snow geese is very tasty and has been enjoyed by the Inuit people for many years, along with other more traditional treats like raw goose gizzard. So this is goose stomach? Yeah. It's warm. Can you swallow it? I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are coming right in your face. Nobody move. Go! Good <laughs> shot. <laughs> I'm telling shot. you, Dean, when you told me bird hunting in the net of it, I had no idea it was this good. <laughs> wow. Look at these guys here, right, right, right. Oh, right low. Yeah. Go! Nice. Wow. Good shooting, boys. Good shooting. Good right shooting. On. Dino. Yeah. This is more than the great waterfowl hunt. This is the <laughs> ultimate yeah. adventure waterfowling. This is incredible. That was fun. Wow. Oh, flock. Big flock to our right, guys. Yep, they're cupping in, guys. Oh, they're cupped perfect. Oh, they're cupped perfect. Wait, wait. Take him! <laughs> nice shooting, guys. Nice shooting. <laughs> oh, good job. Oh, wait, wait, right. one coming back. One coming back. <laughs> Another one. Scott, take that one. Oh, nice. <laughs> guys, <laughs> All right. great shoot. 
Right on. That's a limit for a day, Dino. Oh, that was fun. Unbelievable. Shoot, man. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Let's get these birds cleaned up and go back for a great supper. Right on. All right. Thank you very much. All right, folks, a little bit of commotion going on right now, and we are absolutely ecstatic. We were grinning ear to ear after a great morning hunt, went out for a little sightseeing, heading out to the ice flow edge where the water meets the ice, and unbelievably, Dino points over, and there's this big, beautiful yellow tinge in the snow, and it's a giant polar bear over here about a kilometer away. So we're just kind of regrouping here. Everybody's getting a plan, and we're going to sneak over and take a look at it. But, I mean, I'm kind of goosebumps, goosebumps, eh, Scott? Big time. It's going to be wonderful. What a, what a neat feeling. Be in the Arctic and see one of these bears. So we're going to go get closer here in a second. Look at the size of them, They're just the sheer power and muscling and beautiful fur coat on them. What a, what a gorgeous animal. Yeah, they're unbelievable, aren't they? It's amazing such a large animal can survive out here in the Arctic, yeah. living off seals yeah. all winter long. Isn't that amazing? Looks so natural out right there, doesn't yeah, it? It does. What an incredible experience. How many people ever get a chance to see polar bears out on the Arctic sea ice hunting seals? I'm, I'm telling you, Scott, for us, it's not just about the hunt, right? It's about the journey, the adventure, and to be up here in this ultimate adventure in the Arctic and to watch that, to sit here with you and see, I, I got goosebumps and that, that's what it's all about for me. What a moment. Incredible, never forget it. The Arctic is home to many of the world's most unique and impressive animals, not to mention its breathtaking scenery. From the flow edge with its dark blue waters and ever-changing icebergs and ice formations to the rugged tundra mountains. One of the most unique things here on Southampton Island is the Lost City of the North. According to locals, this archaeological site was the original hunting and dwelling location of the Selenut people. It was occupied until the mid-1900s, but you can still see formations of the semi-subterranean houses and many animal bones, which were either used in the building of the homes or as gifts or trophies of successful hunting expeditions. There are even many old grave sites near the homes, which serve as a reminder of the people who once lived there many years ago. So it's coming at one o'clock off the deck. Yeah. Hold tight. Go! Good shooting. Go! Excellent. The shooting. Those are nice birds. Look at that bird. Absolutely stunning. Big, mature blue. They are absolutely gorgeous. Wait, wait. Go! Wow. Nice shooting. <laughs> Good shooting, guys. You gotta love when they come two feet off the ground and cup at your decoys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. When Dino said we were in for an exciting day, I knew it'd be good, but not this good, Dino. This that was is nice. awesome. Man, and here's more coming. It's just non-stop birds. Ready? Ready? Take them. Woohoo! Nice shooting. <laughs> Go. Nice. Here they come. Go. Get a little shoot in there, brother. Good job, buddy. <laughs> but they're coming nice. Wait on them. Ready? Ready? Take them. Wow. Nice shooting, guys. I'll tell you like them right there. 
It's been a wonderful day, man. It's, it's incredible to be part of, really. For the many, many years we've been filming Cannon in the Rough from coast to coast to coast, it has truly been our privilege and honor to bring to the world the greatness of Canada through documenting journeys and adventures of hunters and of gatherers, of the people that tell those stories, the communities. And this episode has been exactly that. As I stand here in the high Arctic on the ice floe, feet away from the ocean, holding a snow goose at the beginning and the end of their great migration, holding a traditional harpoon that is still used today with sealskin boots and caribou coat that have been part of their ancestry but still used today to hunt and to feed their families and their communities. It was incredible to be part of that. To witness polar bears in person up close was just a magical experience for me. To hunt with good friend Scott Petrie from Long Point Waterfowl and to share this adventure with him has just been a remarkable experience. And to have this group of people invite us into their community, into their homes and share their way of life and see that it's the same today as it was years ago. Although a bit more modern, they still hunt and fish and respect the land the same way and are proud of their heritage just like we are. This has been a truly, truly great trip for me and one that I will share with my kids and hopefully they will share with theirs. If you haven't had the chance to come to Nunavut and hunt with the people and hunt with Dino Bruce of Tassiak Outfitters, you have to do it and it'll be an experience you will never forget as it's a truly miraculous adventure up here. I'm your host, Keith Beasley for Canada on the Rock. Remember to enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of your hunting heritage. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to this channel. And follow us on Facebook and Instagram for daily original content from our adventures across Canada.